What's up, guys? Derek. Um, okay, so let's say you got a synth pad type situation. Uh, sounds like this. You can really easily put a trans gate kind of effect on it without using any plugins at all. Make it sound like this. Now, the way that you do that is through volume automation. So, you can basically do it in any uh, DAW, but in Pro Tools, you, you pull this down and uh, put big audio vo volume. And it looks like there's a, like, you know, oh, it looks like a pain, right? Well, it's not really not that hard to do. But um, basically, what you want to do is have your grid set to uh, 1 32nd notes. Uh, and make it look like this for each uh, measure or each beat I'm sorry this is one beat see this is 9-1 and this is beat 2 of measure 9 and so each one of these is a 30 second note uh, basically from here to here is a quarter note and what I like to do is make it so that it, it's not completely silent it's not all the way down here it's like, uh, what is it? Like negative 20, negative 20 dB. Uh, and then the other thing I like to do is have it, have an attack and I guess was this release or whatever. I mean, I don't really think of it like that usually, but I think that's basically what's going on. Um, so you want to, you want to have it, you know, have a curve. And the reason is to avoid like clicks and stuff. If, if everything's all squared up, it's going to be poppy. So really all you got to make is one of these and um, you know, it's pretty easy to do. I guess I could just show you how to do it over here real quick. You know, basically uh, I guess the easiest way to do it, maybe set this down to 20 right here, uh, get another or whatever, just, you know, copy this and paste it and then move your attack over and move your release over and you know, you want to play around with that but you know it's really easy to make adjustments just duplicate um, that and then just get rid of this valley right here whoops there we go get rid of that valley and then you have this little module to duplicate a whole bunch of times you know get rid of all the excess stuff though before you do it and then you duplicate it and then you can duplicate it a whole bunch of times uh, until you fill out what you need and there you go how would you even say on that one you know there's a little bit of pop a click in the beginning here from what I pasted and I think figure that out and just kind of get it right because you saw how easily you just duplicate stuff and just make it whatever it is now anytime in the song you know I can go and you know I guess theoretically let's see how would I do get rid of this for a second so let's I put this over here this is a whole, this is a whole new instrument right um, I I don't need to do the work anymore to put it on that here, I'll even, this is what I'm trying to say uh, stereo instrument track okay so you got a whole new instrument you got the volume here you don't have to do the work because you just um, you know basically paste it on that onto this one right there there you go and that's a whole new instrument and you just took it from here or um, you only do it for you know uh, some of it whatever um, so, you know, it's, I, that's how I like to make a trans gate. I, I don't really do it with effects too much, but I guess you could do it that way too. And you know, I mean, extra plugins. All right guys. Cool. Hope this helps. Bye.